The Our Father is probably one of the most unifying Christian prayers that exists. The Lord's Prayer, right? Jesus instructed us to say it, and many people have, but have they prayed it well? I know that when I was growing up, I was taught how to say the Our Father, but I was never taught how to pray the Our Father. And really, you know, I'd listened to meditations on the Our Father and stuff like that, but it wasn't until like a year and a half ago that I really was able to pray the Our Father well. You know, meditate on the words while I was praying them, but also reflect on my life and how I need to grow my relationship with Christ so that I can love others better. And I was able to do this by doing two things, which I'll share with you. First thing is I pick a few words from the first and second half of the Our Father and say them slowly. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So as you saw there, I slowed down when I said thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And what I do that for is like, while I'm saying that, I think, oh my gosh, God, like no matter what I'm doing, what I'm praying for, what's going on in life, thy will be done, obviously in heaven, right? But also on earth. So like, no matter what's gonna happen, like you already know. So just let me be your servant and guide me so that I can go along with your will and be the man that you made me to be. So that kind of helps me when things are stressful at work or at home or maybe an awkward situation. I can have peace knowing that, gosh, God, your will be done. Just let me be your clay and mold me to wherever you need me to be. And now the second half. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So I slowed down where I said, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And what does that mean, right? Why did I slow down there? Because what we may not realize is God will forgive us the degree to which we forgave others. That's crazy, right? Like God's gonna forgive me the degree to which I forgave the person that cut me off or my coworker who, you know, is gossiping about me or my family member who, when I came home from work, was like a super jerk or something like that. And if I wasn't forgiving to them, like how will God be forgiving to me? And I think it's really important because as humans, it's really hard to forgive people. That's something we have to do like almost on a daily basis. And a lot of people aren't good at it, but that's why God gave us the Our Father so that we can, as Christians, stand out and be like, all right, I'm gonna be super forgiving because that's what Jesus told me to do. That's what Jesus told me to pray for. He didn't just give us these words to like reflect on. He gave us these words to actually do. All right, so maybe you have other words that you wanna slow down and meditate on while you pray it. Feel free to do so. And it doesn't make it like that much longer and people normally don't like, why is he slowing down on these? Maybe that'll help them realize like, oh my gosh, this is actually a prayer that's worth like reflecting upon. And the second part, praying with your hands. Now this might seem super childish or whatever, but it's very helpful to me. I kind of like to visualize things and this helps me do it. So here we go. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. So that's pretty much it, but it helps me visualize it. Like our Father who art in heaven, I'm looking up to God the Father. And like, hallowed be thy name. Like, you're in heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. And then he's given us our daily bread, right? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, right? We don't want to be led into temptation, right? But deliver us from evil. Amen. And, you know, when you're in church or something like that, like if you're moving all, all around like this, people are going to be like, what the heck is going on? So typically what I do when I'm like in a situation with other people is I do it like really small, you know, so people can't really see it. So it's like, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. And you don't have to look up if you don't want to. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We're all different, so different things will appeal to us. But this has been super helpful for me in seeing like the great beauty in the Our Father. Right? I've really grown in the last year and a half to have a greater devotion and you know, not just go through the words and then be like, wait, what did I say? I don't even remember saying that, but being like, wow, I had that peace knowing that your will is going on. You know, it might seem really bad, but you can make great things out of bad and then help me forgive others. Like God, give me the grace to forgive others. Sometimes when I be praying that our father to help me forgive others. So God is good. Have an incredible day and God love you.